What is going on? Well guys, this is the surprise of the year so far. Yesterday we got here at five o'clock, three hours before sunset, and this lot was completely packed and like they shut it off at five, so no one else could park here. We were thinking that today we had to get here even earlier to get a spot. And uh, we got here only 20 minutes earlier at 440, and the lot is maybe like 15% full. Maybe everyone did poorly. Doesn't bother me, I was just thinking this was gonna be a zoo again. You've got time for McDonald's if you want. Are we going back? <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> I mean, is there one close? There's literally no one here. I feel like it's gonna start flooding in. That's a problem. Well, even if they do, there's spots for like hundreds of cars. Do you True. need your Egg McMuffin? What do you get? Well, Are you an Egg McMuffin guy, breakfast burrito guy? Sausage, biscuit, and egg on it. Egg and sausage on it, basically. Doesn't sound like you know what you want. <laughs> Is it big? Yeah. Is it big? Yeah. Is it big? Okay, we just got set up. We've been fishing for a while now. Oh, that was a big mark. Oh okay, I need God, to help dude. you. I need to help you. I need to help you. Just get his head up. <laughs> no. We're jumping so hot into the action. Just get his head up and I'll grab it. No, you worry about the rod. You Don't give him slack. I'm not. Grim, grim. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! The big one! Oh, this screen is far <laughs> shit. Hold on guys, this is awful. Josh, bring this guy up. Not a giant Lake Erie walleye, but how big would you say that is? About a 24, maybe like a five pounder. That's bigger than that. No. What do you mean no? You wanna measure it? Yeah, I'd love to measure it. Go look Jack's, at how fat its belly Jack's is. Scale. Okay. All right, so how long is she? That thing is so fat. Wow, you were way better at guessing <coughs> than I am. So it's 24. 24. Then how much does it weigh though? 6.3. Six pounder. Big walleye, not a giant Lake Erie walleye. Pretty fish though. Your yeah. first walleye. I was holding out. <coughs> Josh didn't catch a walleye yesterday. He hasn't caught one yet this morning. I'll give you guys much better of an update here in a second. Hasn't even hit sunrise yet. We've been out here for about an hour. We've caught a lot of perch. We've caught yeah, one walleye. She shot right back down. Look at that. So that fish just shot right back down to the bottom. So I'll just give you guys an update because it's way too warm in the shanty and the camera's gonna fog up like what you guys just saw when we were trying to land that fish. We thought it was way bigger, but a 24 inch six pound walleye is still a very, very big fish. Like I said, we've been out here for about an hour. We have no lights or anything, so you guys miss you guys didn't miss much, but we caught probably like 10 to 15 perch, and then that was our second wall. And now there's just enough light for me to film. We're at the same spot we crushed them yesterday. That's why I was comfortable not filming at first. I'm like, we're gonna catch them here. The fish are still here. Just an awesome spot out here in Lake Erie. But there's a bit of a twist in today because those of you familiar with Lake Erie know that south winds are a very bad thing. Why are south winds bad, Josh? It blows all that ice from mainland out into the main lake. And we've already seen a couple very suspect cracks um, Obviously going to keep our fingers crossed, but if disaster happens, meaning the ice shifts and even like two to three feet of open water, obviously you can't really cross that. Some people bring like wooden four by fours, right, to cross that. Yeah. But even that's sketchy. Josh is going to go check that crack. I'm going to finally set up here with the GoPro now that I can finally film and there's light. Josh just caught that nice one. Like I said, it's just now sunrise. We should have an awesome couple hours of fishing for you guys. Time is now 8.06. Josh will be back from checking that crack any minute now. That fish bit basically right at sunrise. I'm warming up that big camera so I can actually show you guys stuff and it won't be foggy. We've noticed with this fish, this Garmin Panoptics unit, I'll put the camera on the unit a little more today to show you guys exactly what's going on. I know yesterday didn't really have the camera out much for to show you guys like the live feed of what's going on under the ice, but this thing is so incredibly helpful and way more fun. It makes ice fishing like 10 times more of a video game. That's a walleye. Coming racing hot, that's a walleye. Oh my God, he hit it. Dude, that, he's gonna come back. He's so hot. I knew it, dude. Oh, that fish was so hot. Oh my God, yeah, that's not a perch. I don't think it's that big though, yeah. That was insane how fast that fish was swimming around. Yeah, you got one too. The camera's still defogging, so I can't have it on, on that screen, but this fish raced from like 15 feet away in a matter of like two seconds, didn't it? Yeah. Another perfect little male eater for our limit. 
This is probably the most fun I've ever had ice fishing. <laughs> it's just constant action and it's so fun. If you guys have never tried ice fishing and you live in the north and you've got a little bit of cabin fever, I would highly, highly recommend it. Because when you're on the fish, it can be an absolute blast. So here's our bait of choice today. It's either a jigging wrap or a jigging spoon, and we tip it with small live shiners. Oh, see, one of the shiners on one of my hooks already fell off. That's why you tip all hooks, because when you're working this bait and banging it, some are going to fall off, but they seem to, there's a lot of times where they won't hit it unless there's minnows on there for whatever reason. Oh, 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 that's a walleye. Got him? 100%'s a walleye. Yep. Oh yeah, another good eater. Another perfect eater. All right, how many wall do we have now? Three eaters? Yeah. We're on the phone with our other shack. They're getting a couple eaters now too. There's a nice school moving through right now. This is so fun. Good eaters, big ones too. <laughs> it's getting more awkward by the second. Those are the ones you want to keep. It's getting more awkward by the second. Why? What are you doing? High five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got the big camera up for you guys just to show you guys a better view of this panoptics and what's going on. So as you can see by that big red dot, that's me. I'm like 22 feet down and I'm three feet to the right of the transducer, which is just right over there. What we've been seeing is marks just rip in from that very right hash mark that says 15. That's 15 feet to the right of us. Whether they come from the right or the left, when it's walleye, we know immediately because they just go zoom and then smoke us. So hopefully we'll get another one soon so I can show you guys now that this camera's really thought out. The action's been very, very hot. It's been a great morning so far. Oh, see, these might be perch. See all these little dots? A bunch of these marks just showed up out of nowhere. He's on you now. He's going really slow. Raise him up. That's usually how you're going to get the perch. We've, If you raise him up, that's usually how we've gotten the perch to bite. Now he's going back down. More wimpy perch. Come on, bud. See, he just you guys can probably barely even see. He's just barely hugging bottom now. And he's going away. And he's gone. And it's gone. Okay, I got like a walleye, but I can't turn my big camera on. Hey, how about we catch the fish? There he is. Okay, there he is. Come on, walleye. Come on, walleye. Oh, he shot off to the right. You see that? Right at 20 feet, about seven, eight feet off to the right. That's always oh, coming back. He's coming back. Come on. Come on. Now he's coming back right on me. Try to raise him up, go a little less aggressive on him. Oh, come on. He's right under me. Now he's going way off to the left. Oh, now he's going down. He's going about down to the bottom. But guys, that was a walleye that fish did not bite. You getting that? Oh, that's a walleye. Oh my God, is that a walleye? That is a walleye. Please turn on. So there's a big, there's so many marks on the screen, but we think most of them are perch. That big one at the very bottom, that is a walleye. It raced in out of nowhere from the left. He hit he hit you, right? Oh yeah. Rip it hard. You got like get his interest back. So that's me in the bottom. There's a fish moving off to the right that got disinterested. I think that's a perch. Oh, now he's coming back. Come on. Come on back. Come on. Chase me back up. Chase me back up. Chase me back up. Got him? Walleye. I got okay, I got one down there too. I think this one's a walleye. We could double up. Nah, my mark's kind of disappearing. What do you got? Oh yeah, walleye. It's so cool that how we can tell exactly what the fish are. That's the one that raced in for it. And missed yeah, that's the one that raced in from the left. Another perfect little eater. 16, 17 inches. Yep. Thank you, Mother Erie. Oh, see this mark ripping? Ripping off to the right, see that? Oh my God, oh my God, come on. Oh no, he just kept swimming left, you see that? That might have been a drum. You see that, guys? He just came in so hot from the right. That's what the walleye are doing. I just set the hook. He's still there. Got him. You got him? Yeah. Couldn't even turn the camera on in time. I'm really trying to get a walleye for you guys. Oh, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> that's a pretty good one. You don't want me to grab him? I'll grab him. It's not a bad one. No, that's not a bad one at all. Oh, they're so powerful and muscular. It's hard to grab them like that. I've been here for four or five days now, and like I said in previous videos, I just learn every day about this fishery and like how to effectively ice fish it. The spot is everything. Thank you again, Reed and Stepfather. You guys are a huge, huge help, obviously. 
We're approaching the midday lull. It's 10.30 now, at least the midday lull that we experienced the other day. So we're about to get, do some catch and cook action. We're gonna cook up a walleye, a couple perch, maybe a couple walleye actually, because everyone's eating, right? And then some venison breakfast sausage. It's about to be a feast out on the ice. So Josh, what are the perks of using club crackers as breadcrumbs? Club crackers. The perks are I didn't have to go to the store to buy real breadcrumbs. <laughs> <laughs> what are the cons? <laughs> cons? Not they taste bread. like <laughs> <laughs> Not a professional operation by any means, but we're getting it done. We're having a blast. I mean, look at look at Jack. What? Not a professional operation. Look at this. Now, like I said, we're doing a little bit of a surf and turf of fresh food out on the ice. We got some walleye and perch that were caught literally just an hour ago. And also, some, what exactly is this? So it's breakfast sausage made with venison and what else? Or, yeah, a little bit of cow fat. And then flavored with just maple seasoning? Yep. And I had it yesterday and whew, it is deadly. Venison breakfast sausage, perch first. Perch? The fish itself is absolutely phenomenal. It was that or no batter, so. <laughs> mm. You cannot have better tasting fish than this right here. He's right there. Yes! No bait! Almost forgot I was recording here. It's uh, it's not so much been a typical filming day for me. It's more just been a day of enjoying fishing time with some old friends. Cause when's the last time we fished together? It's been a while. Me, you, and Jack used to fish with each other all the time in college. And I, I honestly, God forgot I was even filming like two minutes ago. Just another perfect little eater, Lake Erie walleye. You got another one on you? Oh yeah, that's got to be a walleye too. That one's moving fast. <laughs> oh, he went way off to the right. But these fish, I think I've said before, like it's pretty imperative to have bait. That one I had no minnows on there. I was just ripping it really hard trying to make him react. And there he is. Yeah, there's so many. Uh, no, that's no perch. <laughs> this is a good fish. I know, I could, that one just raced up in me like, walleye. This has potential unless it's snagged. Doubled up? We're doubled. <laughs> We're doubled up. I don't think mine's a walleye. Mine's a perch. <laughs> big walleye? <laughs> is it a big walleye? I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think it is. Let me get my perch off. <laughs> don't lose this. Did he come near the bottom? I think it's a huge walleye. Really? Yeah. Just when you wanted to leave. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a giant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's barely hooked. Don't yes, he is. The line. I know, I know, I know. Oh my god! Oh my god! You're on fire! Two giants! I'm freaking out like a little girl! That is a huge one! Dude, look, he's got one little hook in him. <laughs> School of Wall, I just moved through. We caught like four in the last three minutes. And then when I hit it, as soon as I hit the bottom, I like lifted it up an inch and smacked it. Really? You didn't even have to work him? Exactly like the perch. 26 and a half. Hold it up again. That's not even like a true eerie giant either. It's just a big fish though. Twit. I don't know why my camera is so fogged up for both of these big fish. I just tried to clean it off. I hope that's better. Seven pounds. Seven even? 693. 693. So two almost seven pound walleye for you. Just hold that up to the camera again. Beautiful Lake Erie walleye. Let her go? Yep. There's more down there. <laughs> She's too big. She's too big. There you go. Wave goodbye. Adios, big girl. How are we doing today in there? Hello, good. Yep. Here, open the you front. You come around the front. Oh, yeah. Just on the other side, yeah. We got some perch in the corner there, and then a couple oh, walleye on the outside. Shanny. They've got like one. No, it doesn't. Oh, that was almost bad. I got it on the charging pack. Now, is it, do you need like an official receipt, click probably? Click on the click here thingy. Click on the click here, gotcha. 
Oh, yeah, I have, I have to measure one here, too. There you go. All right, thank you. Thank you. Did you guys measure your fish? Uh, yeah, we did, but we have a tape right here yeah. if you want to take a look. All right, I'll, I'll just go grab my measuring okay. board. You guys can go ahead and zip it up. All right. I'll be back. That was interesting. That's actually awesome to see. That was actually the DNR that came out and went and checked our licenses, checked and made sure we had legal fish. There's hundreds of guys out here. I'm sure, unfortunately, that people are like keeping legal fish, fishing without licenses, just doing illegal stuff like that. So it's awesome to see them out here and really enforcing it. I can't believe they came out on the ice. They got their quads and everything back there. Josh is like, I think they have badges on. Yeah. Either it's the DNR or someone's setting up like 10 yards <laughs> behind us and there's no one else within like a half mile. So. Yeah, and another thing, too, they're out checking is right now there's a huge population of walleye that are right on that 14 to 15 inch mark. So they even came out and they measured a couple of our fish. We were legal, of course, but... Legal, of course. I'm sure there's guys that'll keep some that are 14 and three quarters. And even with how cold it is, too, you can have a 15 inch fish. And if you let it sit on the ice for an hour or two, it can lose an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch and put you under that 15 inch mark. Just packed up the shanties now. It's been an awesome second day out here in Lake Erie. Well, second for me and my buddies here. Just seeing them has been awesome. The fishing's been awesome as well. 14 walleye today, 25 perch yesterday. We got like 17 walleye and another like 25, 30 perch. Just great eating, fun day. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This was the last video from that like little mini series I filmed at Lake Erie. But big piece of information from this video that I did not get to film because it didn't happen in my shanty. I wasn't around when it happened. Now that DNR officer that checked us, they came at the very end of the day, like probably 30 minutes before we ended up packing up. My buddy Jack ended up getting a $90 ticket. It wasn't for not having a fishing license. It wasn't for keeping too many fish. It wasn't for keeping too short of fish. It was actually for having the carcasses of fish next to him on the ice. I didn't know that was a rule. I don't know if it was us being ignorant or what, but I have cooked fish that I have caught on the ice in Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Ontario, and Ontario is very strict with their laws. You can do that in Ontario, have like shore lunches and all that. In Ohio, you cannot cook fish on the ice. Legal fish that you keep, you have to bring them intact to your place of residence or else it's illegal. Didn't know that at all. So we got a $90 fine for our catch and cook on the ice. I couldn't really believe that. Usually in places, if you keep fish to cook them on the ice or on the shore, like up in Ontario, a shore lunch, what have you, usually you have to keep the carcass to keep towards your limit. We kept the carcasses, but to them that was proof. In Ohio law, I mean, they're just doing their job. In Ohio law, that's illegal. So expensive lunch that day, $90 surf and turf lunch. Was it worth it? I don't know, didn't know that law. So if you guys are in Ohio, Lake Erie, don't do what we did. You cannot cook fish on the ice. Other than that, I could go on and on about how fun the trip was, how great the fishing was, how awesome it was to see my buddies again to fish with them. But you guys saw in the two videos, these were awesome videos to film. I hope they were entertaining to watch. Lots of great fish catches, lots of laughs. I really hope to make it out on the ice in Lake Erie again this season.